Hello friends, today we are going to learn something new. You can see I am standing in a field of mustard crop. These crops are in the flowering stage. They are in the flowering stage. So as you can see, I have taken a mustard plant. I have taken a mustard plant. In a mustard plant, there are, are these, the following parts. The roots, the stem, the leaves and the flowers now let us study about the roots in plants there can be two types of roots they are tap roots and fibrous roots they are tap roots and fibrous roots tap root in a tap root a main root goes deep into the ground and small tiny roots tiny and thin roots come out of the main root they are known as lateral roots so this is the system of a tap root now fibrous root in a fibrous root um, small lateral roots small lateral roots spread into the ground without any main root such a system is known as fib fibrous root system here we can see that in the mustard plant there is tap root system because this is the main root and these are the lateral roots that that are coming out of the main root now let us study about the stem the stem is a thin the stem is the thin um, it is not the uh, same in every plant in trees it is very thick and in small herbs and shrubs it is not that much thick so it can be thick or thin it carries food to the it carries water minerals and salt to the leaves from the roots and by through the stem the food made by the leaves is also supplied to the other parts through the stem minerals and salts and water go to the leaves okay and and food from the leaves goes to other parts now let us study about the leaves in a leaf there are many parts they, these parts are the midrib the midrib here is the midrib it is the main line running through the center of the leaf now it's leaf blade leaf blade is a plain part plain part leaf veins these are the veins of a leaf that come out from the midrib that come out from the midrib and the leaf apex leaf apex is the top part of the leaf leaf apex is the top part of the leaf now there can be two types of venation in a leaf, in the leaves and these two venations are reticulate venation and parallel venation but first of all let us learn what is venation venation is the arrangement of veins in a leaf in a mustard plant we can see that there is reticulate venation in reticulate venations the veins are arranged in a net type form in a net type form and in parallel venation they are arranged as they are parallel to each other they are parallel to each other parallel venation is found in the leaves of grass banana etc now let us study about the flowers the parts of a flower are the outermost are petals that are green are the sepals sorry that are green in color then are the petals that are colorful they may be of many colors and they attract insects next are the buds the buds keep the new flowers inside them they protect it from the insects now if a flower is opened the there are two more parts in it they are androecium and gynoecium or stamen and carpel the stamen is stamen is the stamen is the male reproductive part of a flower or of a plant and the carpel also known as pistil is the female reproductive part okay the stamen is made up of two parts anther and the filament anther this is a swollen part of the stamen that contains a liquid semi solid type substance known as the pollen grains that are the seeds 
of that come from the flower and uh, originate into new plants um animals so insects wind water and many different things carry help to carry the pollen grains from one plant to another okay now the filament the filament is a long tube that joins the anther to the bottom part to the bottom part of the flower now carpel carpel is also known as pistil its parts are a stigma stigma is a top sticky part where the insects water and wind drop the pollen grains and they reproduce there and they reproduce there many times in uh, even in a mogra flower you have seen that on a flower another flower grows and just on top of that flower that is due to the um, pollen grains have originated on the stamen on the stamen that is uh, the part of the carpel next comes the style the style is a long tube that connects the stigma to the ovary 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 is that part of the um, carpel of the carpel that contains the seeds and the ovary and the ovule ovule are the seeds in an ovary will both become into um, the fruit and the seeds ovule ovules will become into the seeds and ovary will become into the fruit so friends this was the introduction to a plants to a plants body to a plants body thank you for watching my video and if you liked my video please subscribe my youtube channel takshil yadav and keep watching such videos jai hind